In 2009, Google Scholar rolled out a new feature, Case Law Research. Use it to search for legal opinions and articles. Coverage includes federal appellate and district courts and state appellate courts. For more control over your search results, it's best to use the advanced search. The advanced search link will always be to the right of the search box, even on the quick search page. With an advanced search, you still have access to a general keyword search, and you can search by phrase without typing quotes. You can also widen or narrow your search quickly, and you can search by author. When searching opinions, this will return opinions written by a specific judge. Finally, the advanced search allows you to only search for legal opinions, excluding any journal articles. Let's search for Wisconsin cases heard before Judge P.J. Snyder. We'll type Snyder in the author box, we'll add a date limit just to narrow our search results, and we'll be sure to choose Court Opinions from Wisconsin. This gives us 71 results. Now notice if we remove the date limits and run our search again, that gives us well over a thousand results. So it's best to be as specific as possible. Cases included in Google Scholar contain case citations in blue book format. So let's say you're reading an article and you come across a case citation. You can use that to look up the case in Google Scholar. The most important thing to remember about searching by citation is that it must be entered in quotations or as an exact phrase in the advanced search. Punctuation in this case is not important. For connoisseurs of precise searches, check out Google Scholar's advanced search tips. To get there from the advanced search page, click advanced search tips. Be sure to scroll all the way down to the bottom for other search operators. More information and links to search tips and examples are available on our website. Contact a Wisconsin State Law Librarian with any questions.